Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the Mooncat Hocus Pocus 2 collection. These are six magnetic polishes, but they also have little multi-chrome flakies and other added, I guess probably just multi-chrome flakies, um, iridescent flakies. There's flakies in magnetics. Okay, so six polishes here all together. These are available for pre-order right now. You can, they sold out really quickly, so they're up for pre-order. You can get these individually or you can get them in the set. I did want to show you what this box set looks like. I kind of reassembled it. I put the boxes back in so you can see. Um, I'm gonna cover up my face. Nice little collector's box here, and then it also comes with the magnet and a little sleeve of nail art stickers. You can get the nail art stickers separate. <clears throat> my voice. You can get the nail art stickers separate as well, or they come with the set. So I will link the Mooncat website down below where you guys can check those out. Six polishes all together, and I'll get into the swatches. So first I want to show you what the boxes look like because I think these had some really cool detail. The inside of these especially was really neat. And then I also wanted to show you what the nail art stickers look like so you can kind of see what you're getting there as well. I do think these stickers are pretty cool. I'm just not sure that I would use them with any of the polishes that are in the collection. So the first polish here is called Dab of Newt and this is described as a light green polish with teal iridescent flakies and a gold magnetic stripe. So this one is a little bit sheer on the first coat, nothing terrible. It did cover completely for me in two. The magnet pulls a lot of gold out of the polish, which I really like. And I do think that the flakies are also fairly subtle because they do blend in quite a bit with the base color of the polish. I could definitely see you needing three coats here. I did two, but I don't think three is out of the realm of possibility at all. And I did have a tiny bit of texture from those flakies. Nothing crazy, nothing like a glitter one coat of top coat will be fine, but there was still something there. So that is two coats of Dab of Newt. The next polish is called Reclaim the Flame, and this is described as a crimson polish with pink iridescent flakies and a pink magnetic stripe. These bottle shots are also really blurry and I apologize, I could not get my camera to focus on the bottles. This one had a really good formula, really good coverage. It easily covered in two coats. This was another one where I feel like the flakies did blend a little bit into the base color because they are a very similar tone. They don't completely disappear though. Once this is magnetized and all that pink shimmer kind of gets sucked into where that magnet was, the rest of the polish is more of like a burgundy jelly and those flakies do stand out a little bit better. This also had the same just teeny tiny little tiny bit slight texture from those flakies. Nothing like a glitter, but you can definitely see it once everything was dried down. So that is two coats of Reclaim the Flame. The next polish is called Amok Amok Amok, and this is described as a purple magnetic polish with blue iridescent flakies and a pink magnetic stripe. Great coverage on this one, great formula on this one. There is also a little bit more contrast between those flakies and the polish. They're a little bit more blue or the polish leans a little bit more pink, so or pink purple, I guess. So they stand out a lot better. This did cover completely for me in two coats. There was still that same slight little bumpiness from the flakies once everything was dried down. But like I said before, nothing that one coat of top coat can't fix. And once that magnet is applied and it kind of sucks all that pink into one spot, you get a little bit of a deeper look to the polish as well. And it makes those flakies stand out a lot better. So I like that also. So that is two coats of Amok Amok Amok. The next polish is called We're Back Witches. And this is actually interesting because Mooncat describes this as a black polish with lime green iridescent flakies and a green magnetic stripe. Good formula on this one. That first coat is a little bit sheer and it kind of has that like smoky sheerness. Like well, looking at this, I can definitely see how this is a black polish with green pigment in it. This did cover completely for me in two coats. I really like the contrast with those gold flakies. They stand out really, really nicely. My only complaint with this one is that I didn't feel like I got a super strong magnetic effect, but I'm also not super experienced with magnetic polishes. Like I know how they work, but I haven't personally used them outside of swatches a ton. So that could easily have been user error, but I do feel like the magnetic effect was a little bit weaker for me in this one. So that is two coats of We're Back Witches. This polish is called Black Flame Candle, and this is also described as a black polish with pink iridescent flakies and a peach magnetic stripe. So while I talk about this, you are gonna watch me struggle over and over and over again with a really chewed up brush. It took me several attempts to get this even enough that I was comfortable with it because the brush had this big, like, like I said, chewed up. It looks like someone took a bite out of it. Chewed up brushes like this are really, really hard to catch before they go out. So I'm not mad about it. It happens and it probably most likely will not happen if you were to order the same color. But because the brush was messed up, I did end up having to do thicker coats just to get everything to cover completely. 
I think this would have covered completely in two coats, whether I was strong-armed into thicker coats or not. It doesn't look like it was going to have any issues with coverage. The polish and the flakies in here both have a really nice shift to them, and I really liked this one after the magnet was applied because it makes the flakies just glow out from underneath the polish. So that is two pretty rough coats of Black Flame Candle. And the last polish is called Malacca Mystica, and this is described as a navy polish with pink iridescent flakies and a silver magnetic stripe. I love this shade. I love it magnetized. I love it not magnetized. The flakies honestly aren't doing much for me when it's not magnetized, but once that magnet gets added on, it looks like a galaxy and it is awesome. This did cover completely for me in two coats. I will say that after it was magnetized, I feel like it was a little bit more sheer at the tip once that shimmer was all sucked into where the magnet was. You're just kind of left with a navy jelly base and it was a little bit sheer at the tip still. You could layer this over like a similar navy color. You could do a third coat. You could try it over black, but I think you'd lose quite a bit of that blue. Oh my gosh, the flakies through that navy blue jelly base once that magnet is on there, I love it. So that is two coats of Malacca Mystica. So I think Malacca Mystica, which I'm probably butchering, is going to be my favorite. I really, really like how this looked once it was magnetized. Um, I kind of described the same thing in the ILMP intro that I just filmed. I don't know what order these are going up in. But I liked that once you magnetize it, everything goes really dark and those flakies like really, really stand out. I think these look pretty cool unmagnetized as well, but if you really want the flakies to shine, you have to use the magnet, and that's how I really, really liked this one. I think the flakies kind of made it. When I first saw the previews for this collection and got this collection in the mail, I didn't think I was really going to like it because of the flakies. I like I opened it up and I was like, yeah, I kind of wish these were just magnetics without the flakies, but then after swatching them and seeing how they performed with the magnet, like I get it, and I like it, and I appreciate it, and I think these actually probably would have been pretty lame without the flakies. I think the flakies actually make the polishes, so that one is my favorite. So that is the Mooncat Hocus Pocus 2 collection for Halloween and I guess for the movie 2022. Again, I will link the Mooncat website down below where you guys can check these out. Hope you enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later.